Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot. And last episode, well, we're here on the GTI server, Alpha 7 um, public. So this is the stable branch, episode four. I God, I think it's episode four. Uh, let's go with episode four. You can see there's been some work done on the base, so that means, yes, we did survive. We eventually got some more cannons up on the roof that we're firing, and, and yeah, we can defeat these drones coming in, but sometimes there's quite a few of them. Like, like six large drones coming in at the base at once, so, uh, but the, but the, we have turrets all up in the top there, and right now, the base is self-sufficient and can can definitely defend itself. I'm not sure about the. We haven't experienced that bug where you know the if you're too far away from your base and your base isn't that doesn't kind of shoot, and then when you show up, there's like drones all over top of it, just pelting it instantly, <laughs> and your base can't shoot because it, they're too close and over top of it or something. Oh, it's just that was that kind of sucks sometimes um but we haven't experienced that yet so we but you do notice that there are some new vehicles here this one you've seen the this one to survive this is still the, the original one that i spawned all this time now it has survived you saw how gutted it got last time well we replaced the blocks and did some stuff and repaired it and we've leveled a bit now you can see this here is actually a rendition of the old claptrap and stickus uh brought that into our current fold of top down access easy easy stand in your cockpit be be secure and also environmentally protected while you mine with your drone it's a very cool concept and we've been doing success successfully now for for i don't know i've been doing it since really alpha six i started creating vehicles with that concept and, and i know i'm not the first one to do that obviously but it's i'm just saying it's for us, it makes it life a little easier. The problem is it really creates some ugly vehicles, right? Well, today we're going to actually beautify, not only beautify, but we're going to actually update the HV with some more up-to-dated gear. So we're going to grow this a little bit here and make it a little bit more versatile and usable. Like we, uh, That fight with the drones was ridiculous. There is no... There's absolutely no way I should have survived that, but I did. And you guys saw with your your own eyes that it was just barely. The core was had less than 50% left and it was completely exposed. So it was... Whew. Anyway, here is our SV version of the Claptrap. This is our new Alpha 7 version, I'm going to call it, that Stick has produced for us. It has our theme of, of top entry. Let me just jump up and show you here if I can. Now he also came up with a much better idea of putting edges on like this, uh, contouring it a bit, and it actually helps to grip when jumping and stuff. At a, you can actually catch it at a lower height. So kudos, a new improvement to it that I think is fantastic. and. We're going to totally incorporate that in all of my builds, too. So, <clears throat> here you can see it actually sits three people quite comfortably with, with the standard loadout of a basic SV with pretty much all the basic necessities that you need inside. Except there's no fridge, but we can rectify that. There's a lot of storage in behind there, right? So, we can put a couple fridges in here, some more whatever right uh probably an oxygen oxygen container is good for you never know when you need to fill up your your suit even though while you're standing in here and if the engines are on you'll be you'll be okay if there's a ventilator in here so so this is the same concept as the hover box 
uh, it's just it's just an SV instead. So super cheap. Let's get out and actually put that into our factory really quick. Well, I'm I have it in here. I'm just going to update it. So either putting putting in for the first time or updating, hit Alt O, and it'll take you into the uh, um, blueprint screen. And that way you can have a option of saving. So save as. And if you want to save over something, you can select something. Or if you don't wish to, you do a, you do. So if you're just saving over something, it's an overwrite. If you don't wish to, you just hit save as. Uh, so right now we do have, do I have that in here? Oh no, left trap. So no. That's right. Uh, oh no, here it is, a version of it, but I'm going to update this one. So it's the same same thing. I'd either hit save as or overwrite. Right now I'm going to overwrite. And so now it's taken a update of this and it's in my bank of vehicles that I can deploy if I want to from the factory. And so let's take a look at the blueprints here. That was the open top SV box. And it's going to require 146 copper, 146 iron, 138 silicone, and only 7 cobalt. And it actually has a pretty good loadout. So we'll take a look here at all the devices. It's got one small cargo box, but that could be added to. It's got a mobile constructor. Very important, in my opinion. Very important. Um... It's got the armor locker to switch out your armor. That can be very important in space too. When you're coming down to a planet and you need some heat protection, let's say, instead of freezing protection. So it's good to have that armor locker on your vehicle to start off with. And it's not that expensive. Uh, there's some flares. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Fridge. One fuel tank, one generator, a shutter door, a couple lights. An O2 station, so that's sticking out the back is the O2 station. I might put another one on the inside. Uh, one generator, and you can see it's just, it's very minimal. There's a couple of passenger seats, one RCS, and the small block thrusters, two in every direction. And then two Gatling guns. So it's, it's a really good starter SV to go up into... It's a non-warping starter SV, let's call it. Uh, really good for mining with, really good for going out into orbit, exploring the moon with possibly, but not necessarily taking on a POI. Later on, we'll build something that has some, some real firepower that has some good missile launchers and stuff. So right now we're just gonna stick with, with the starter stuff that we've, we've developed here and Right now, so that that spawned for us. That's great. I also need to update this thing, and so we'll take a look in the factory here. You can see that I have a whole bunch of parts for HVs built here. Uh, Stick has got a whole bunch of that started for me, and then uh, I came in and got the rest going. We also, while that was brewing, I apparently I'm going to be hungry in a minute. So let's let's see if the garden's ready here. I've actually got... No, oh, it's not ready. Okay. Well, we'll wait a bit. That's okay. I can just... Uh, I'll eat one can of vegetables or something. That's salami. That's, that's good enough. They'll, they'll be ready by the time I need to eat. We can go pick those. Anyway. <clears throat> so, that's what I'm going to do right now. Is we're going to update this thing. First of all, I need to... I'm going to create the contour thing with, no, I'm not sure if I should actually stick it out one flat first and then card contour down. And what I mean by that is the top of it. I think that might be a good idea. I think I'm going to try that. It'll be easier to jump up on this thing when we're done here anyway. You'll see. So first of all, I need to put some real blocks in here now. I'm going to be pulling this forward a bit. So we're going to go 
a real block like that, a solid one, and then we're going to go a rounded one, or a slope, I should say. Come on. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right there. Okay. And then we'll pull this across. And we want to set the... Here, what I'll do is I'll get the... Um, get these out so we can put this in here we don't need that right now let's grab these two we're gonna need that that pretty soon and that the rest of it we can put in later on okay so now I want to put the hovers in so I'm gonna put these ones out and I'm gonna put blocks down I'm just gonna leave the old ones in uh, there's no need to take them out at this point. And if I do lose one of the one of the um, big hovers, let's say to to damage of some sort, then it it actually works as a decent backup. So I don't see the point. Uh, oh, I should have contoured that. So I needed to have this going. Yeah, let's do this. And rotate that. Okay, and then we're gonna, we're just gonna keep with this for a second here and go across. And then we'll go across again. And I'm gonna pop that one out. That one's the wrong one. So let's switch to our multi-tool and pop that out. I'm going to disassemble to take the whole block. Okay, and then now it should be the same block that I was just using because I didn't actually disturb that that stack of blocks in, in any way. So uh, let's just keep building here. And there we go. That's what we want. Okay. So that's our housing on each side, what that's going to look like. And then we'll put regular blocks in to fill that up. Once I get drills and other stuff, I can pop blocks out to, uh, to fit the drills and fit other equipment in as need be. That's a great thing about this game. It's nice and modular like that. And realistically, I should be using my drone for any sort of building. You, you you lose you use less oxygen now i'm not sure about food i'm assuming maybe less food too so that's the first pontoon let's call it i guess that uh that's basically what i'm aiming for and as i get drills and stuff i'm going to be popping blocks out and and having those stick out instead right so Let's, that is the right one, right? Yeah. So we're going to go like that and that here. And then that comes out like this. Come on. And we're facing like that. And there. Okay, get that in there, come on, nice, and we'll get the other ones over here, come on, okay, and then we'll just rotate these, bring that across, do that with the front here. This is kind of a standard build I've been using for a bit with these hover boxes that I've been starting with. It turns it into something fairly serviceable. That the hover box was basically just barely sur survival HP. <laughs> like it was, it was like your basic, basic nothing. Just some walls that you fly in, really. Okay, so we got the front pontoons in. The back ones, I I'm going to lift up one block because I'm I'm planning on having some some weaponry on them. 
So we're gonna we're still gonna go with the um, with the same shape though, but we're just gonna go with a full block in between. So let's do that. Get our so one two are we gonna spread it back all the way? I think so. That's probably the best idea. We'll pull it all the way back and have it up and yeah. There it's gonna turn it into a lar larger of a vehicle, but it's it'll be better. It'll be better. We'll see. So we're gonna drag this out to match the others. And then we're going to put regular blocks here and here and put this one up, oh, come on, right there. And then we can uh, get that put back here with the, oh, well here, we'll just, we'll continue on with along here then is I'm gonna have a full height block and then it's going to contour into this. The reason I want to do that is for my turrets that I'm going to have. Okay, so let's drone it up. It's just going to make this easier. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, let's keep building. Oops, I had it there. There. Drag that across, and we keep going. Oops, that was stupid. And we don't keep going like that. Okay, so this is actually just gonna be solid blocks here. So we can just pick, nope, not there, not there. I'll remove those later. Okay, so we'll put these in here, there, and mm, I guess I could curve that one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It'll be easier to jump up and down on, right? So let's do that. So let's multi-tool these screw-ups here. Okay, and then we'll round that. So we'll put this solid right here. Okay, and then we round this. And I guess this gets all solid. I could put stuff in there, I guess, but, or I could just leave it hollow. Mm, hollow's not bad. It's less weight, right? So let's do that. It's still more blocks overall to, to kill. Oops, and I screwed up. So let's fix that by zapping that. Okay, so now let's put the curved ones on here. And we'll just drag that across to there. Okay, and we'll fill this in down here. So these are just solid blocks here. And we'll just control, ooh, come on, right there, oh, drone got in the way, whoops, and then I dropped that, brilliant, let's try that again, <laughs> okay, uh, and, oh, apparently I'm about to starve to death, so, opportunity to, uh, take a coffee break, if you, if you smoke, smoke them, got them, or if you got them, smoke them, I should say, Apparently I've already have. Okay, um, and nothing has grown. Ah, boo. It looks like they are close. They're all really tall. Pre-harvest. Yeah. Should be any second. Well, I need a snack before lunch then, so let's just go into the fridge and we'll take another one of these salamis. 
Although I guess it doesn't really matter. I got to eat canned food anyway, but. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll eat all the salami. Okay. Now we're good for a while. Okay, so now we got this uh, rear pod. So we'll duplicate this that on this side. So that was there. And oops, stop that there. And then we got the curved ones here. And that'll come across to there. And that one comes across like oh, is that gonna clip into me? Let me move. Come on. Right there. Let's get the last oops, last hover engine in there and build this up. So oops. let's put the regular blocks in first here. So that was one of those four. There and like this. Okay, so we're getting there. And then we had the slopes. Okay, let's get these in. And there. So some people like to uh, get rid of the auto level on the drone. Uh, I actually don't mind it when building. I, I, I get rid of it when mining, though, a lot of times. But uh, when I'm building, I don't mind so much. It gives me, it keeps my perspective. I don't know if it's, I need, I need a perspective sort of when I'm building. It's hard to explain. Okay. I'm probably just an oddball on a normal person can do this without uh, thinking like that <laughs> without having to deal with stupid things like that I guess okay come on thank you there and there okay so we got those the hover pods built it's already looking better just with that alone now it doesn't look any faster, so let's make it look faster with these thrusters. Now I want two down here, so we're going to change the direction. So I want one there, and I want one there. Okay, and then we want... Up here, I'm going to flip this and have this right here and another one right, come on, right here. Okay, so that's forward and back. Now, what we can do is we could flip, we could go like this. Let's see, we can go like that. One. Oh, but I should have actually done two. Oh no, I got two. Yeah, two. One, two. Sorry, I'm just derping. So I need two in each direction on these sides, right? So I need to actually do that. I need to go like this. Come on. Come on. Right, like that. And then we'll switch the direction of this one like that and that okay so we've got some stuff to throw in here too let's what do we got on us yes yes let's get those in we need the generator just put the block here let's get rid of our bandages right now we don't want those are the pills. 
good. So let's get these RCS in. So RCS are very important in my opinion in, a, in an RC especially, or a, sorry, a, um, in an HV. The reason being is because you really want to be able to pivot in all directions wherever you are because if you're an HV you really need control over your guns and your drills and it can be really hell if you don't have enough RCSs in it. Trust me, you need you need a lot of RCSs in an HV for it to be good, viable. So I'm going to put one there and we can flip one here. Fit that in there. Okay. So I put some more generator and fuel tank in because with all the extra <clears throat> uh, stuff going in, it's going to require more power and thus more fuel. So we've got that in now. What else do we have? We got these RCSs, so let's pop these in. We can put there, 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 and there. Okay. So that'll handle much better now. Even right now, if I took this thing out right now, it would probably kick ass. Uh, in fact, why don't we do that? No, you know what? I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I know it's going to fly good. What we need to do now is we need to taper this off. We need to put the second wall up and taper that. So what I mean by is I'm going to do some wraparound tapering and put a second wall down. So we're just going to build this up a bit here. And... Hmm. Let me go like this and this. And then we're going to make this look a blue. Huh. That's interesting. I could do that. Uh, I could put another thruster there. Thruster block right there and um, that would look pretty cool I think for just just for looks and then we have you know maybe not I don't know <laughs> now let's just this is what I have planned here I'll probably pop this these blocks out here and just put regular blocks in here Okay, because this thing's going to be a little bit more beefy. It's going to be able to handle taking a hit or two along the way without exploding right away. I've learnt my lesson. I've learnt my lesson. So, and eventually this outer shell will actually upgrade to the uh, the better hardened steel that way we're still we're still double shelled it's just a soft inner shell kind of like a you know hard inner shell with a soft inner chewy center like a like a tootsie roll or a tootsie pop yeah tootsie pop okay so let's finish this this goes across. How far does that go over? So that's just in front of it right now. Right, I'll probably extend that. So let's keep going. Like that. And then... It's probably... Uh, yeah, I don't need to extend that, I don't think. But I can fix that so it's not like that. That looks a little stupid. So let's pop that. We'll just put a regular block there. <coughs> Whoops. <sighs> Keep hitting Z by, by accident all the time. It's like, stop it. Stop fumbling with the keys. Very bad. Okay. So, getting there. Getting there. We're going to need some more down below, obviously, because that was getting shot up really bad, too. We'll get this in. We'll 
We'll just make that look better by popping those out too. Oops. Well, apparently I had to pop that one out first to get to the other one. So we'll, we'll pop this one out now. And then we'll just replace that. And well, let's pop these ones out. I probably end up popping the other ones out too. Yeah. Okay. We'll just fix that. That's not a big deal. It's just some structural derpage. Construction derpage. Okay. So here we go. Let's get this fixed. And we are going with these. Okay. And one more. So now we have some extra padding there so I think I should probably pop so let's let's do the same thing here we'll just put some extra padding because we're gonna get shot in the front so I think I will fill this with blocks right now I know we're running out of blocks but we're almost done with the with the blocks although I haven't done anything with the back here yet Yikes, we might run out of blocks. Let's make some more here. So I'm just going to go into the large constructor through the control panel. <clears throat> and you can see I have the other stuff in here too, which we could probably pull out now. Consider putting in. And the minigun turrets. And okay, so we need some more blocks. Let's get these made. 20, 30, let's try 30 for now. And I still had some on me, didn't I? If not really. Okay, let's some more. Let's keep building while that creates blocks for us. Okay, so I want to come up on an angle. Um, so basically I want to do the, I guess this will be a, hmm, is there a rounded one? It's rounded like that, there's rounded, is there, let's see, I want to do, what I, what I want to do kind of is, let's flip that, and then have, a block that's rounded but then tape oh no but why would I want it tapering in there I want it yeah so okay yeah let's keep let's keep this rounded sort of look going oops that is not what I wanted so we'll go back to here and go like that and that okay okay it's not looking horrible it's not looking like a complete box it's a little bit of curviness to it now I'm not sure if there is a block that will allow us to, is this the one I'm thinking of? Let's see, can I, what can I do with this one? It might be, I think, I think it is. No, am I, am I going the right way? Flip it down that way, which way is it? Yeah, okay, and then, uh, no, I'd have to, no. Hmm. Although, that's very interesting though, isn't it? But it's not what the look I'm going for. A taper, I might have to do, I might have to do an actual hard angle taper here. And that looks stupid. I'd have to do a hard angle all the way down, I'd think. Isn't there one? Is there one that actually does this? What's this? Can we do it with this? Yes, I think we can. No. Um. Hmm. 
There's got to be that shape. I'm just not seeing it, right? Right? I'm just not seeing it, right? Uh, there. That's the one. God. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm I'm old and feeble and <laughs> blind, apparently, too. Okay. So let's put those in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because I think these round slopes will work just like the angled ones in the way of how jumping up. And we're going to test that really quick here. But it doesn't really matter because we'll be able to jump on the, the turret block. The, uh, the turret pods, I guess if you want to call them something. Okay, and then we're going to extend that out. Okay, so now we've got something a little bit more stronger with double, double skin to it. So we're not going to get killed instantly like that almost. Well, okay, I didn't, I didn't die. Yes, I know, but I should have. I mean, God, I was super lucky there. You got to admit, that was crazy. Okay, and then I'm going to put that like that. I'm going to put that one on this side, too. And I could just put, fill that in, I guess, realistically. I don't think I don't think it matters. It doesn't seem to matter. Uh, I think it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing for me. Although that's screwed up. I got to fix that. Okay, so because <laughs> that's not aesthetically pleasing. So let's repair these blocks. Oops, didn't need to do that one. Okay. There. Okay, and then we we'll go like this. We rotate and we'll go like this, and we rotate and flip that to that, and done. Okay, so how's that looking now? Not so bad. Not so bad. Kind of a throwback to the fifties, really. I don't know why I think that, but. So let's continue this. So we're going to pop these out on the front. And we're going to fill that in with just straight blocks for right now. I will be popping some of these blocks out later on once we hit 10th level and put drills in here but for now we're just going to fill this up with these slopes um i want to put actually i'll put the headlights up top so yeah let's Let's go like this, and then we'll we can put a headlight there, and we'll do rounded ones up from the bottom there. Okay, so let's go like this, and get those in, and then so we want headlight. Um. So a regular one there, and I think, oh, you know what? No, here's a better idea. I know this won't look quite so organic, but we'll put this in here, and then we'll do, so put that like that, and then Actually, let's grab that one here. So there are a stack here, and I will put one of these angled ones 
and we'll flip that oops like that and that and we'll see if that if if the lights aren't working correctly I can correct those later so that should give us a huge panoramic headlight display okay um yeah so not bad i mean it definitely doesn't look like just a box anymore right like just a box it's just a hyped up box now really i know i'm the first one to admit it so we need to put some more stuff in here right we need the yeah, we can put the fridges in there, the O2. So we need to put the O2 in. We're going to do that. Let's... We'll have, we'll have a bulge sticking out the... It'll come out here for sure. This will be all covered, so I'm going to put it there. We need more blocks. <laughs> So we'll grab the ones that we just made, which might not be enough. We'll see. Let's make 10 more. I can always use them. We'll see. So we've got this oxygen there. Do I actually have a dispenser in there? I don't think so. I need to put the seats in there. I need to put the... the ventilator in there and fridge on top of the ventilator okay so let's put these seats in here come on come on thank you go oh, you were there come on you could do it right oh they take up two now okay well that's that'll be fine that's fine um yeah you just step off that's fine okay so we need to put a ventilator in okay and then we need to put a fridge there or yeah sure we'll, t we'll put one of the fridges in here And we can even put a cargo box in there too. It's not a bad idea. So let's do that. Do I have any? I think I do. Let's go into our basis control panel by looking at one of the blocks. And I think it's in one of these. Well, I have some more regular small steel blocks. Excellent. Okay. And I, can, I need to label these. So... There we go. <clears throat> okay. And let's put these in. So I want a small one inside here. So we can go like that, I guess. Okay. And then we really need an oxygen. Um, let's, let's make this really big. Put that right across. Okay. So we got lots of, tons of storage on this now. Tons. We need an oxygen dispenser sticking out the back though. At least. So... Can I make that? Can I make one? Did I... Did I derp and not select that? Yeah. See, I can't make it yet. That was stupid. Why didn't I make that? I can always add it in later. I don't need it on this planet right now. So we're not going to worry about it. <clears throat> okay, so I think that's it for stuff in s going in there. Oh, let's put the... 
Right, we've got the fridge, the last fridge. So we'll do a fridge out the back here. Um, I don't know. Do it right here. No, because that'll get blown up. We'll just tuck it in here. Come on, right there. And then we'll just fill this in. So twitchy. Can be really twitchy placing these things. Although, yeah, I'm. Got a. Well, I could get rid of all that and come straight down. No, we need that the way that is. Okay, so. And then we gum. <clears throat> hmm. You know what we do? You know what we do? We go like this. We go these corners. Or I could keep with the rounded concept. What do you think? Do the rounded? Keep the rounded thing going? Yeah, let's keep the rounded thing going. We'll, do, we'll keep the rounded thing going. So we'll do this, and that, okay, well I should probably, that's got to get popped and come straight up, and this has got to get turned into a slope, so put a <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. And yeah, okay. Put a cube here. And then we're going to slope right here. Like that. So let's pop this stuff out. And that will put the, this still is selected as a slope, so we'll put this up here really quick. And then we'll put a regular block in here. Okay, and then, <coughs> it's a real wide load now, isn't it? But this will ride a lot smoother. Hopefully it's not going to be too, too heavy. It's just regular steel. We'll see. Let's fill this in. Come on. Ugh. It can be very twitchy putting these blocks in. So I think I'll just leave that like that. And although I should. Technically. Do this. And pull this down one really is probably a better idea. Oh, I ran out of blocks. Okay, so, okay. Actually, at this point, I can do the thin ones off the back. So, we won't need a lot. We'll just do some texturing, really. So, let's see. Well, I'm going to pop this one off. <clears throat> I don't want it that thick there. I want. I just want. Hmm. Hmm. What do I want there? What do I want there? I want it to be just thin blocks, really. So. Let's try, well, let's get the rest of these in here. So it's not, 
just sitting here all weird. It will go like that. And then like this. And then like this. Okay. There we go. Not so bad. Not so bad looking. We'll, uh, we don't have very many blocks left, so let's do a thin skin on these. We'll do a, so that's 25, 25, so same hit point. So let's start, we'll flip this like that. And I guess to match it, I really, I'll just do the same thing. So this do that and then we'll select the wall and pull that across for our last three there exposing the fridge whatever we've got a fridge on the inside so there we go there's the basics of the initial little step up for it hopefully it handles okay we'll we'll take it out for a test drive real quick here because we oh you know what you know what you know what we forgot or i forgot i should say let's see is there a mm, there's a i need somewhere where there's no block is it over here no, it was over here yeah, so let's put the Didn't I make one? Oh, maybe I didn't make one. Oh, I could have swore I made one. A ammo box? Did I not make an ammo box? Okay, apparently I did not make an ammo box. So we'll make another ammo box. I wanted to put another ammo box in just because um, I'm going to go through a lot more ammo. Speaking of ammo, let's grab that and the fuel now. We'll get this up here too. And I also want to put the hover booster on. It'll help a bit. It'll help right now, but as soon as we harden up this thing with, with Sathium, it's going to weigh it down and then it's not going to help so much. But... In the meantime, we can enjoy them. So let's put these turrets on. So they're going to hang off the back a little bit, but I don't care. Okay, come on. It's not too bad. It doesn't look that bad, really. I knew they would a little bit, but I've done this before, and it's not that bad, so I didn't worry about popping. See, it's it almost looks like they're... It, it's close enough. Whatever. I don't care. I think it looks fine. Okay, so there's our four on there, and then our top one. And we are looking at our new upgraded HV. So this is still the same concept as the old one, but with a little bit more punch. And get this in here put that back in here let's get these blocks back okay and all right I got an extra one now so I can go like this uh, the wall it's right there and then we can go like this and it'll make it a design there we go and then I can put our logo right on there perfect okay my builds are very organic and they grow as I build and this is what I came up with this time 
I don't think it looks too bad. We'll have to see how it performs. I can always add more thrusters and stuff in if I really need to. But with those four big hovers on there, it's gonna make a big difference for how it floats along and how stable it is side to side. It wasn't very good before. Uh, I won't worry about painting it up right now. I'll do that later. I'll paint it and up and texture it off camera. And then I'll, um, I'll take a factory snapshot of it and publish it. In the meantime, let's take it out for a spin because I need to go get some Promethium. Really, really bad. We are really low on it now. I think I almost used all of it making ammo. So, and how's the base doing for fuel? Oh my God. Okay, so we need to um, grab like half of this and throw it in there. Okay, good. Good. I did make a bunch of fuel at least. Okay. So let's grab some food. I guess we need to I think we could let's 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 see if we can actually pick our crops here. And no, we can't yet. Okay. Oh what are those changing in front of our eyes? What or is it just that trick that the game plays on you as you start getting close? I think it's that trick. Pre-harvest pre still? Really? 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 Bueller? Bueller? Okay. We'll just eat some we already picked then. That's fine. These canned vegetables here, it's fine. Take half that pack. We want to put that on. But we can just put in our backpack for now. We'll be fine. So we got food, ammo, fuel. We've got plenty of drill charges for now for the T2 drill, which I've made too. I still only got a regular multi-tool, but. I need to level up and yeah so first things first I need to go in here and regroup this entire thing okay so now that I have this group I still have the engines custom engines that I've made from before so I can add the other thruster groups into that now so we want to you can see also ones that got modified we now have to reselect so let's go back into our hovers and we're going to reselect engines and all of our thrusters okay okay and then turrets what i'm going to do with the turrets here is they already have their own default switch on the main panel on the general panel so I'm not going to worry about a, a switch for them, so to speak, unless I wanted to like separate them and make them do different things. But it, I'm not going to bother. I just want them all to be able to shoot drones. That's all I want. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into each individual turret and select its options. So we have some big, big drones here. So I'm just going to deselect Predator. That's all I'm going to deselect because I want it shooting at everything else on those freaking drones. I, I, I obviously needed to have this stuff selected for it to shoot because just that wasn't shooting at the big ones. So obviously it has separated items on those drones that need to be shot out. Just to let you know. So all I'm going to do is deselect Predator on all of my stuff. Because I, if I want to kill Predators, I'll do it with the main guns in the front. And now that i got more RCSs in, it's not going to be such a pain in the ass to do that with. And I'll show you. Okay. So now that we got the turret set up, I can go in here. I can... Uh, we're not going to worry about oxygen right now. Let's just... Um, We'll just fill all for now, good enough. And then we'll fill all here. So we've got almost 8,000 rounds, uh, 15 mil, which, which all my guns take. 
So the mini guns and the Gatling guns out the front take the same thing. Let's jump in and give this thing a whirl. So we'll fire it up. We'll lift off. Get up to our three meters. And our door, no problem, is high enough. So it's not too, too bad. It might need Well, that's a good test. When you can just hold it steady, like that on a harsh angle, that's a good test. So we'll go with this for now. I I have a feeling I need one more in it, actually. It's, it is a little sluggish. Um, I need to put, yeah, I need, I can't go off without, with it being sluggish like that. I need it to be up to snuff here, so. Well, let's, I'm just going to turn it off, jump out, and add that in. So let's, let's do two. Get these whipped up. It should be pretty quick, because I already have parts that I've looted from all the drones, right? So it doesn't take much to make stuff right now. It's interesting that we haven't had a drone attack since uh, the beginning of the episode. That's kind of unusual. Okay, so we've got our two RCS. I'm pretty sure this is going to help a lot. So let's see. We're going to put our drone up and... So we got to find spots to put these that had no nothing in them. I think there might have been right here. No, I can't remember. Mm, I don't think so. Well, let's just pop out some blocks here. I can't remember what I what I had where. Yeah. Yeah, these are all full, aren't they? Yeah, okay. So, I don't see any. No, okay. Damn. Our darn poopy. What about, no, that has something behind it. Okay, so what if I... What if I pop these forward? and put them in underneath. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and we'll put that one there, that one there, and oh heck, you know what? Let's just make another one. Just, just to balance it out, right? Right, you can't over RCS and HV. Although you can unnecessarily use up energy. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Okay. And that's in there. So now we'll put our block thrusters back underneath and aim them to the back oops come on there we go so one two do they have options no they don't three good enough that'll get us going forward and we'll put these blocks back in here Okay, okay, so we just added some more RCSs in. Let's try it out. And what do we have for delicious green eating, dinner for two, huntsman, not afraid. Of, oh yeah, I completed not afraid of the dark really easily because it was just, um, 
these four things, night raptor, plant monster, humanoid, and spider. And I did that with the hover box, no problem with the Gatling guns. And I got a, another pulse rifle from that because that's what the reward was, pulse rifle with, with 200 more rounds. So that's well worth doing right off the bat. As soon as you can do that, uh, 25 gold coins also is a big, big boon. That, that's going to help. So uh, excellent. And that leads to another chapter in Omicron, if you ever go to Omicron, or at least have those creatures available to kill on other planets, I think, also qualify. I believe so. I, and you get a minigun for that with, with minigun rounds and 30 gold. So, so well worth doing. Also, the Huntsman one, uh, this is also one I want to do because it leads to a T2 projectile pistol. So I, I think let's make sure that that is our active one. It says deactivate right now. So I'm pretty sure that is our active one. And that is yes. Yep. So that is the one that's going to get us a T2 pistol. So I'm going to be looking for those creatures when we're out and about and kill them with the front Gatling guns. And that way I'll get credit for it. I won't get credit for it with the turrets. So let's go. And we'll get going. Oh yeah, I can tell already that it's like... I can just hold it there. I can just hold it there and hold it there and hold it there and hold it there and just slowly drag the mouse, which is perfect. You can just kill something. Nice, nice, nice. So this is, yeah, this is responding way faster now. Way better. That's what you want. You want to be able to just jump around like that with ease. Nice, nice. Okay, we're off for Prometheum. Let's put the stuff in. So we don't have much fuel left, but I didn't I just fuel this thing right up? I did, didn't I? Pretty sure I did, didn't I? Yeah, so we got tons of fuel, 14 hours without using any. So yeah, we'll have enough, we'll have enough. It says 865 minutes and under power, we've got, you know, 300 minutes, so five hours under full power. I don't think we're gonna use up our fuel. Uh, oh, but I did wanna put my, go into the fridge and put my canned vegetables in there. Why not? It's got a fridge, why not? Oh, hover, the hover booster, right? Let's put that on. So we'll just go here on the, oh yeah, by the way, here's the pad that I've, so I knocked down a bunch of the, the dirt pile and got a bunch more concrete from that actually, which allowed me to pretty much build this pad out more. I'm hoping it's big enough for the CV spawn. We'll see. It might, I might have to expand it a little bit more, but at least I've got a good chunk of it down now and the, and the island knocked down. So it's going to be fast to build it if, if we need to expand it. So in the meantime, let's use this as a little, I'm going to hover right to the top here. I'm going to jump out and then it sinks right down. Yeah, it's a hovercraft. Poopy. But I should be able to still, I'm just going to do my little jump technique. And, and it looks like my lights are perfect, just how I wanted them. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You can see how such a huge a, a light array, like it's just super wide. <laughs> I love that. And I can even put some more spotlights around it and on the back and stuff, I guess. But for now, that's all you need to drive in the dark. You need a good spread like that and you can, and you'll be okay. Um, so let's put this on. Let's not daddle anymore. I think this, this episode is getting really kind of long in the tooth here. So I think once I find the Prometheum or once we get going here, I'm probably going to call it an episode. So I just want to put this basically right underneath the core to help protect the core. There we go. 
So now we've got a hover booster and that will give us, let's sit down and that will now give us, well, get out of this, sorry. That now gives us our hover bar, which is climbing up steadily over on the right hand side. So once that reaches max, I'm going to try it out here. Okay, so now it's white, it's ready to be used. So to jump, it's the space bar and shift. And not bad, not bad. Uh, that'll definitely help get out of, I, it looks like it'll get me over a couple, about three blocks, which is not bad. So, okay. Uh, well guys, that was the episode of upgrading the HV. I hope you really liked it. Um, in the future, you're going to see me be taking this thing out and, and beating on things. And I'll show you how steady it is. Uh, I'll take my hands off the mouse while I, I need to steer away from trees. But there, I'll just take my hand off the mouse right now. And it's doing its own thing. Oh, that's pretty harsh. Is it going to survive? No. Uh, well, you know, when you drive like an idiot, you can wipe out any vehicle, right? <laughs> anyway, it's so much smoother. It's, it's, it's plowing right up this mountain fairly decently. So, not bad. Not bad. And there's... These are super steep mountains, remember. Let's see how it does on the ultra steep. And it's just climbing right up. Look at that. Okay. So I gotta be careful not to... I'm not sure what those guys are guarding. If it's a POI or not. What are they guarding? They look quite separated from each other, so... Look like they're patrolling or doing something. Yeah, they're patrolling. So what are they patrolling? What are they patrolling? Well, my turrets have issue with them, apparently. So I guess we need to try killing them. Is it coming at me? Yeah, it's coming at me. Coming at me, bro, eh? Okay. Then you die. Okay, let's go check them out. So, I'm not sure what they were guarding. Oh. Uh, whatever this is right underneath me, <laughs> apparently. Whoa, 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 turret. See, that's why I hate Okay, so I've killed the drones, so I can turn the turrets off. And that's This is the time to turn that off, because I don't want it destroying whatever that is. Wasn't that turrets? Wait, did it, what did I just turn off? Thrusters? No, that's an idiot move. Let's turn all that back on. <laughs> Drifting down. <laughs> okay, let's, let's salvage these guys really quick. Let's salvage these guys really quick. And we're gonna jump out. Whoa, I'm not getting ejected out, but spawn our drone. And you can see the temperature outside is minus 19, but we're nice and cozy inside at a comfortable 22 standing in our HV box. Yeah, my head's sticking out, but I'm mostly inside, so it counts. So there we go, we've discovered another wreckage one of these trapped wreckage apparently and it even my my hv treated it as an enemy so now we know they're all rigged they're booby trapped to, to kill us it's uh it's a ploy from the enemy but we know better now we know better now we're not going to let that happen to us again. 
and we're gonna come back with a vengeance and we've already started to so if you guys like this episode like and subscribe next episode we're gonna have some more adventures possibly go loot one of these things you know maybe one of these uh, fuselage and um, discover its secrets apparently there might be some riches inside for us so that might be fun well guys that was fun we got our HV up and running it's now way better than before you can see those two drones were a joke whereas before I would have been hard-pressed even <laughs> so so awesome well I'm gonna leave it at this and go get some Prometheum and probably kill a bunch of stuff to get some I want to get to level 10 get a uh, SV out to uh, to orbit and go collect some Neo and Sath and Cobalt and stuff so that we can get our basic starter CV going. And that's all going to happen, uh, all that gathering I'm going to do in between videos. So, you know, maybe next video we might have the SV spawn and we'll take that up into space. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Well, guys, it was blast and nobody died. What am I at now? I am level 8, 33 kills, 0 deaths with how close am I to level? I'm pretty close to level 9 so I should be able to hit level 10 pretty quicker and then, then we're good to go because it's a level 10 CV it's a level 10 CV and it's all warp capable so it's super cheap and I'll probably publish the, the husk of it when we spawn it and paint it and then we'll, I'll publish it and it's up to you guys. It's kind of like a, a Lego set. You, you take your parts from your base and you put it in the CV. And then that's how you, you build your starter CV. It's pretty cool. Anyway, you guys have yourselves an awesome day.